Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle. He's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people dude. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tail of the day for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The gentleman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. Ready? All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, we get to watch it inside of an octagon. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice. Slips that left hand. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, single collar tie here. That elbow got to the target very quick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Clipped him with the right hand there. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. 
Straight right hand, no good. Big ball from the punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Misses again with a right punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, when you lean in like that, you're gonna be vulnerable to those straight punches to the body, and it landed right there. He left the body wide open, and his opponent took advantage. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in position where he can get off the strikes. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Big shot lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Right hand punch for the clinch. Overhand is good. I don't know how many times he can hit in the head and stay in this fight. Back well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. What a punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Straight right, he misses. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Spinning back this is there. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Round two winding down. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. Second round underway. Punches block. Beautiful one. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Nice strike. 
slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. The next with a right. Blocks that strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Missed with that attempt. Three minutes remain in the round. Ooh, blocks the shot. That punch no good. Straight right hand counter, useful. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, in. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that oh. finger. He's got one right here. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, big left hook there! And they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch land through the middle. Oh! Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, collar tie. Whiffs on the right hand. Blocks the punch. Pretty significant well to the left side. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Solid strike on the ground. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Back to his feet. Goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hoping.